<laughs> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so you're seeing the finished look here. Um, I actually uh, just got a new really big... Um, it's one of the Mega uh, palettes from ColourPop, and as you can see, I wanted to wear all the colors, not just one. I was also in a conundrum because I wanted to do a video about it, but I was like, well, there are so many different colors. How am I going to do one look? Isn't going to do it, and na, 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 na. So um, I was actually watching a khaki video, and she's done several videos where she's done like neutral brown eyeshadow and uh, neutral lip colors. I think she's done a peach video too, where she goes ahead and does all of the swatches on her face and you can see all the different colors and all of the different um, textures from the different makeup companies and everything. And I didn't have a whole bunch of different textures, but I have this huge makeup palette. And so I thought, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and we'll swatch all the colors so that you can see all the colors here. And then I'll go ahead and do a couple of looks and um, so I did go ahead and do that, and some of the footage flew away. So I don't have all the footage, but I have most of it. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a video going ahead and doing that. And so what you'll see now is um, going ahead and doing these two eye looks and adding in a couple of super shocks to go ahead and finish off the looks. And um, I think that's just about all of the intro. And uh, we'll go ahead and pick up with the footage and we'll see the rest of these two eye looks going on. And uh, yeah, thought it was a fun way to go ahead and showcase all the different colors that are in this huge uh, Mad About Hue Mega Palette from ColourPop that I picked up on the Black Friday sale. And like I was saying, I think it's beautiful. Um, it doesn't have any reds. This is pink to burgundy, and these are lilac to deep purple over here. So it is going to, to go ahead and be a rainbow palette, but it isn't going to go into any real reds. So that's the only thing that I had to say that was negative about it. Um, but they're all matte. Just like the name says, they have a ton of pigment in them. They go all the way from pastel down to jewel or jewel colors down here. As you can see, they blend really well. This is, um, I think, which color did I use? Oh, I went ahead and used this color. So I used it down the nose and then I blended it onto the, yeah, this is where all my makeup wears off is right here. So I decided to highlight that for you. And other than that, um, what I have on as a base, and I do have a base on, is going to be the Hard Candy uh, Serum Primer and the Pretty Fresh. Um, this is in Neutral 55. And then I did go ahead and use ColourPop Good and Plenty um, Lip Liner, and I used the NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Gloss. So that's what's going on there. And yeah all these different colors going on and I thought that it was a good way to show a rainbow palette because um how else do you show a rainbow palette so anyway uh let's go ahead and get to the rest of the video and uh have a great day Okay, back again. So I did go ahead and clean up. It, the blue was starting to run right under the eye, and I thought, no, that's going to mix with this pinky row, and all of a sudden it's going to go wacko. Um, so, yeah, I needed to clean up there for a second. Um, I did go ahead and grab two of the ColourPop Super Shocks. So I have Tassel here, and this one I think is just blue. Yeah, it's the Peeps Blue. And so I thought that we go ahead and add in a little bit of shine here. So this is tassel going on top as a topper. And then we'll go ahead and use blue on top of this really light sky blue here.
and that's just bringing a little bit of shimmer to it so yeah um, if you want a really dramatic effect use tassels that has white glitter in there and then if you just want to enhance the blue uh, go ahead and use a blue super shock but super shocks and I'm using more of the tassel here just do an amazing yeah they can bump up any look and so as far as the way that the look turned out here's the way it looked it turned out and I think it turned out really pretty and it's gonna take me just a second I need to go and wash my hands as you can see they're stained blue at this point so one more break and I'll be back and we'll do the other eye okay back again and as far as going ahead and doing another look on the other eye I was thinking maybe about the green just because they're so saturated well all the colors are saturated they're rich they're beautiful so um i think actually i want to go ahead and start with this one on the brow bone so that's a really pretty light shade mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to take this shade and go right below it and try to blend it in. Go there. And then this sh third shade is going to end up being the crease color. All right, actually, Never mind on the crease color, I'll just take it all over the lid since I picked up a lot and it wants to go there. We can do that. And yeah, I'm going to need to clean up this one as well, so I will be right back. Okay, so when I'm cleaning up, I'm taking a microfiber cloth with a little bit of water on it and just going right underneath to try to go ahead and get um, the excess color off and then using a little bit of, in this case, the Wet n Wild Incognito uh, concealer to go ahead and put down um, to go ahead and, yeah, conceal those dark circles so um back again and then as far as what we want to do as far as a super shock um let's go ahead and start with some tassel on the inner corner So that's using tassel going from here up to here and then here over to the end of the brow. So there we go there. Um, yeah, it did lighten it up. So actually, you know what might be fun to do is to go ahead and use a little bit more of this forest green down here. So this one right here. in the outer corner yeah and I need to figure out which super shock I want to use with that so give me a moment and I'll be right back it's really a stop start kind of video huh usually I don't do that but it's kind of a process sort of thing so I'll be right back okay okay so back again and I found two and I couldn't decide which one to use so I have a um, birthday treat here which is a fun peach and then I have up late which is a gold and I figured that we could go ahead and use both of them and I'll go ahead and use the up late here on the inner 
corner. And then we'll go ahead and use the birthday treat on the outer corner and see what we end up with. Oh, and that changed it quite a lot. Okay, so let's... Here we go. This is how the side look turned out. So the Super Shocks really did a lot to this particular eye look and they lightened it up quite a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Not sure exactly if I like what they did there. Hmm. Let's darken it back up with a little bit more green. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to take this second shade in here and add it back in. To get a little bit more of the green going. Uh, and I think I'm going to need to clean up again. Um, but I just want to add in a little bit more of the dark green. Okay, so that's more of a green peachy kind of look. And um, so we'll go for more of a halo eye and putting the peach right in the middle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm liking that better. Okay, so now it's more of a halo eye with the pop of peach in the middle and a whole bunch of green going around it. So, um, let's see, as far as the way that it looks, it's this one. So that's the way it's kind of coming out. And again, with it being a stop-start video, I'm going to go and clean up that under eye. And I'll be back in one second here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm back again. And, um, yeah, I did go ahead and clean up a little bit here. I do have on the Act Natural by ColourPop their mascara, and I added in a little bit of the uh, Tartlet by Tarte as well. And then as far as the eyes came out, yeah, that should, that's sort of how those came out. Um, I did also go ahead and add in a little bit of this baby blue. It's a super shock as well. It was in the Princess collection. It sort of comes off as a white, but yeah, it's actually, there we go. It is a baby blue kind of color. And I put that right on the lid right here um, just to lighten it up a little bit. And I think it actually helped the lid to pop a little bit. And so, um, yeah, that's, uh, let's see, that's Mad About Hue which I would, you know, um, I love ColourPop shadows in the first place. In the second place, they're really, really fun and blendable. And when you get colors like that, who doesn't want to just play with the whole... Okay, so back with some final thoughts here. And um, so I've been using the Mad About Hue. I have it all over my face in all sorts of different ways. And so um, I just got this palette. I got it off of the Black Friday um, holiday and um, ColourPop sale. And so, yeah, loving these colors. I did a look with the blue and a look with the green. And um, yeah, they turned out uh, fun. I um, really enjoy the Super Shocks and um, they're kind of, 
made to go with the mats so they work really well with them and they're a lot of fun they come in a gazillion different colors and um so i went ahead and put the super shocks over um to go ahead and get a more sparkly look diffuse it a little bit uh the mats in the mat about hue blend beautifully in fact when i was going ahead and doing the swatches for my face well over here they kind of you know went ahead and blended a little bit together but um yeah they're super blendable the gorgeous colors and they're really saturated really pigmented and um i would highly recommend this palette to anybody um especially if you're tired of curated palettes and you just want to see what kind of uh, fun colorful looks you can get um curating your own palette this is a really good one to go ahead and do that with because you have all sorts of pastel all the way down to jewel tones and you can really mix and match everything uh, this is a first impressions for me but as you can tell i really like it and i really like working with colorful makeup and so this is really fun um I'm really super glad I got this in my collection and needed a rescue palette, something that I can use when other palettes just don't have exactly the right color or when there's a palette that I'm not getting the look that I need. And, you know, most of the time we don't have time in the morning to be, you know, washing off a full face makeup and redoing it and that kind of thing. So um, I think this is a really good rescue palette. And um, thank you, Kaki, for going ahead and doing these videos that inspired me so much because I really do love watching those. She'll do neutral brown eyeshadows and she'll do, um, you know, neutral lip colors and all sorts of fun stuff. And as you, she puts on each one on, you get to see, you know, how it compares to the others. And so that's really fun. And um other than that, I don't know. Is there maybe anything else that I can do? Well, we still have a nose that doesn't have anything on it. So let's go ahead and do a red Rudolph nose. Here. We'll just do a... There we go. Now we have all the places on the face covered with makeup. And you could even do a little chin here to go with it. This is usually where all my makeup wears off. And as you can see, it blends really well because that's just blending into a really pretty pink. So, yeah, that's the look and uh, the looks. And I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later and have a great day. Bye.